So we're gonna run us a nice speed test here and see what we get on the M2 iMac, which is, you know, less than a foot away from this wireless router. Dang, pretty nice, over 800 megs. Back with some more really cool tech items. Today's another one that a few years ago I would have been dying to have, but special thanks to this company. It was nice enough to send me this mesh Wi-Fi system. This is a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. You have your main router as well as an access point. And I've did a few of these videos with the Google version. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We're gonna unbox this, show you what's in here. And then I'm gonna hook it up to my internet. We're gonna do a couple speed tests from in here and from in my kitchen where I'm gonna put the second access point to show you exactly how this works and how you would set it up. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out this mesh Wi-Fi system. So this is our mesh Wi-Fi system two pack. It is the AXE 10200, the tri-band mesh Wi-Fi 6E system. It supports up to 1.2 gigs in Wi-Fi speed, 6,000 square feet of coverage. It is tri-band, so it's six gigahertz, five gigahertz, and 2.4 gigahertz. And then it has a dedicated Wi-Fi 6E backhaul. What that means is if you're connected over here to the access point, these two will communicate through a dedicated Wi-Fi 6E backhaul, which is how everything talks to one another. It supports up to 10 streamings, and you can connect up to 200 devices per unit. Here's a little bit about what's inside. Your two routers, power adapters, ethernet cable, and uh, you'll need a smartphone as well. The top just has the company logo. Thanks again to them for sending this to me. Nothing on either side besides their little sticker. And then the back kind of gives you an idea of what I was talking about. So like this would be one router and you'd have one router up here and these would talk together through that Wi-Fi 6E backhaul. See, dedicated backhaul. So they have an easy to use setup app. There is parental controls, lots more specs here. It is a gigabit WAN port. It has eight internal antennas and dimensions, power consumption, etc. So let's uh, let's cut these seals. Go to our widescreen. And so we'll slide this off. There we go. Take off our sleeve here. And everything else is inside of this. So look at that nice welcome guide right in the front. A little bit of info about the devices. As I mentioned, I will go through the full setup process with you and uh, show you how this setup works. Then two devices, it looks like these are actually identical, so you can set them up either way essentially. But WPS mesh internet system, same there. On the back, your LAN and WAN ports, reset button power, nice and easy and a nice smooth look to them. Little feet on the bottom to grip, very nice. And then just to verify, absolutely identical so there's not like a main uh, router or anything either one of these could be hooked up to your internet modem and uh, then you just set up the second one as an access point point. and then lastly it's just cardboard they include a nice little ethernet cable to plug it into your modem and then two power adapters power adapter one power adapter number two and that's it for the box so that's everything that comes inside of the box. I'm gonna get their app downloaded, show you guys how to connect everything up, and then we'll run a couple of speed tests from the main router and then from some further away in the kitchen from the secondary router, which will be using the dedicated Wi-Fi 6E backhaul. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna disconnect my Nest Wi-Fi Pro to install this Wi-Fi mesh system. Let's give it a try. Out uh, with this one and with this one. All right, so we've plugged in our power cable and it's starting to boot. Now there's two ports back here. As you can see, this one is where you plug in your cable modem, DSL modem, wherever your internet comes from, you plug it in here. This port next to it labeled LAN is for your local area network. So that's everything behind this router. For example, like this switch. So plug your internet modem into this top port and then this here. And then give your device a moment to do what it needs to do. And in the meantime, download their app so you can go through the setup process. 
which they nicely have right here on the side of the box. So this is the app. Install the app, make you an account, and then we'll show you the setup process. So there we go, that was nice and easy. Quick verification email, and now I have an account. And it's asking me what I would like to set up. Do I have just a router or do I have the mesh? We have the mesh. So we're gonna select mesh, confirm, let's get started. All right, unplug your modem. Connect, did this. Both are powered on. So I'm gonna unplug my modem real quick and then reboot this device and then come back and select both are powered on. A good rule of thumb for modem resets, unplug your modem, wait 30 seconds, have your router unplugged. After 30 seconds, plug in your modem and then give your modem 30 seconds to boot before plugging back in your router. So at this point, my router has been plugged back in as well as my modem. I'm gonna give them a couple of minutes to do their thing, and then we'll go back to the app and finish this. I would not recommend uh, starting the app until these lights are back solid and you know you have internet access. Another side note, you can clear the memory in your modems, your internet modems, by leaving them unplugged for three to five minutes. That's a good thing to do every 30 days, honestly. Now that my online light is solid, we're ready to go with the router. So I'm gonna reopen my app and select both are powered on. And now wait until the LED light turns solid green or orange. So we have a, uh, well, we have a solid green system light there. So we're waiting on this internet light. Look at that, can't beat that to go green like that. All right, internet LED is stable. Join the network. Scan the QR code located under the device for quicker setup. Okay, so we'll enable this while using the app. And now I can use my camera to scan the QR code on the bottom of the router. So. We will scan this, there we go, and it's found it. So we'll save that and let this do its thing. So it's asking where our router will be located. Do we have office? We do, so we're gonna pick office and DHCP for the internet connection, sure. And now it's going through and testing what it needs to on the internet. Now that that's done, it has the Wi-Fi names here. You can, of course, edit these. So I'm going to make it uh, something else. Let's see. So there we go. That's the wireless name I gave it and password. I don't care that you're seeing these uh, because, well, I'm taking this down anyway. So we'll select next. And now it's going through the process to create us a Wi-Fi network on this device. And there we go, it's now set up and we can go into our Wi-Fi settings to connect to it. All right, we're connected to my new wireless. Go back over to here, we'll select try again. And now it should know that this phone is on that Wi-Fi connection. There we go. So now we need to add a Wi-Fi point. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put my second device right here. And all we have to do is plug it into power and then plug this cable into the router and then let it boot up. And then we'll go through the setup process with the app. My office is down here. So there's uh, probably 30-ish feet between where the main router is and where this one is. So it's booting. Now we'll go into our app and select add another Wi-Fi point. Do not plug ethernet cable to any port of this device. Okay, so we'll select next. We found our placement away from large appliances. Yep, and we gotta wait on that light to go solid green. Now we have a solid green system light. So we'll select system LED is solid green. And now it's waiting for the pairing. So now that light should go orange. All right, so now our mesh light's blinking orange. So we'll select our button. And now it's looking for this device to add it to the rest of the network. And there we go, now our mesh lights went to flashing green and it's asking where we're gonna put it. So we have this one in the kitchen and there we go, strong connection. Awesome, enjoy your network. So that was the setup process. So, so easy with this app, of course. Now we can run some speed tests. So this is what the little screen looks like. You can see your device is connected, your parental controls. You do have a settings button here. Still uh, doing some joining of this device. So uh, we'll let this go through and then we'll run some of the speed tests and I'll come back and show you this app. So now on the main router plugged into the modem, you can see we have a solid green system, solid green internet, and solid green mesh. So everything should be set up. Let's connect our M2 MacBook Air to our new Wi-Fi and run us a speed test from right here at it. So there we go, I've connected my M2 MacBook to the new wireless. Let's connect in the iMac as well so I can move a file from here to the iMac. So we're gonna run us a nice speed test here and see what we get on the M2 iMac, which is, you know, less than a foot away from this wireless router. Dang, pretty nice, over 800 megs. 
29 millisecond ping. Very nice. And then our upload should be anywhere between 20 and 30 megs, just as I thought. All right, let's run the same test on the iMac. So let's see what we get here. Now this is a slightly older chip in the iMac. It's an M1, not an M2. It's also like six inches away, so it should be about the same. Yeah, right there in the same ballpark. 786 versus 833, 29 millisecond ping. And then of course our upload should be somewhere between 20 and 30. Look at that, 32.23, 3270. The only other test I can think of is I have a folder here of videos to edit. We're going to copy this folder over to the iMac wirelessly and see what kind of speeds we get from here. So it's a just over three gig folder and it's moving that in one minute. That's, uh, that's pretty darn good. Looks like we're hitting about 60 megs. Yeah, 30 to 60 megs a second. So that's a pretty good uh, transfer speed. So now I'm gonna go to the kitchen and do the same data copy to a different folder and we'll run a speed test from the M2 iMac there as well. So our Wi-Fi signal may go down a little bit, but as I move into here, it should jump me from the router in the office to the router in the kitchen here. And you see, it's got a solid mesh light and a system light. And to do it one better, I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi, which should disconnect me, and then cut it back on, where it should grab this access point being the closest to it. So now we'll run the speed test from here and see what kind of speed we get from our M2 MacBook Air through this, which is using the dedicated Wi-Fi 6E backhaul to talk to the main router and get out to the internet. So out here, we got 250 megs. We still got a 29 millisecond ping, which that's great. And looks like our upload will still be about the same. Now you're probably wondering why well, we got 800 megs back there and 250 here. It's just this device wirelessly talking to this and then this one wirelessly communicating with the back. Let's see if we can move this three gig folder, see how long it takes from in here. So still about a minute. So in terms of internet speed, seeing a difference, but in terms of transferring files, that seems to be about the same. So you can see now we show three devices connected, which is the iMac, the MacBook, and my phone. And quality of service is off. Looks like you can turn that on. This gives you your Wi-Fi name and password. You can enable a guest account, a little more there. And then over here, we have network. You can check out your WAN settings as well as your LAN settings. These don't seem to be editable though. And if we go into settings, time zone, factory reset, advanced settings, and more. That's a little look around the app for you. So that should do it for our little setup guide of this mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, one thing I did not show you here is you do have the ability to hardwire these devices together. So from the LAN port in this device, you could plug it out to a router like I have. And then if you have a cable ran from this side of your house to your kitchen, for example, where my other router was, I could have these hardwired. What that would give me is the same exact internet speed that I saw in this room of 800 megs in my kitchen and in my living room, because basically the cable's ultra lightning fast. Yes, six gigahertz wireless is fast too, but there's lots of walls. There's lots of stuff interfering with the signal that does not interfere with a cable. So in my house, I have these cables ran. Underneath my floor, they come up in every room. That way, with my current Nest Wi-Fi Pro system, everything is wired together, making it all much, much faster. That would be my recommended setup. Of course, as you saw, it works perfectly fine just being on wireless as well. So I, of course, have this exact mesh Wi-Fi system linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one for yourself. And that should do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.